Hello. I have here the uh, Dev Alpha C, which is the BlackBerry um, prototype of the Q10. You can see there, if I zoom in, Dev Alpha C. Property of Research in Motion. Okay, I got it as a developer, and uh, the only problem is it has an issue with the O button. For some reason, when I press I, the O also activates. It's a little bit unfortunate because uh, it's a otherwise keyboard is pretty good, uh, but it has a glitch. Okay, it's uh, functional. You can't see it very well because uh, it's in the sun right now, but it's on. And uh, what I'm going to do is have a go at opening this up and fixing it. So I'm going to just zoom out a little bit here. Okay. I'm going to take out the battery. You can see the phone is pretty much uh, quite uh, simple. It doesn't have any of the nice finishes of the Q10. So there's the battery out. There are screws all around the side. I haven't opened this up before, so I'm going to give it a try and see what luck I have. And if I can somehow fix up the keyboard, that would be nice. I've got uh, a number of Torx screwdrivers here. And we're going to try to open this up. So let's start by first of all just figuring out which Torx will fit. And I'm going to go for the smallest one here. Because it looks like, oh, there's, they're using some special screws that are not even Torx. They're like uh, triangular things. So I may actually have no luck at all in opening this up. Um, that one fits there. Okay, let's see if this works at all. I'm going to start by taking out a few of the screws on the side. Here and here. Uh, these two here. These are really small. And unfortunately that's the smallest Torx instrument I have. I don't have anything smaller. So I'm going to be I think out of luck. Oh, I got that one out. Uh, with this video, I may find that I can't make much progress here. But let's uh, give it a try at least. Okay, so I took those two out up top, and that comes off. Okay, so this is the uh, the cover. I think it has the uh, flash unit in there. That's what those contacts are for. And that's it. Now it's quite dusty. So it's good that I opened it up. I can at least give it a clean. Okay, you can see there the unit. It says revision one. Okay. And uh, there's something up here. I'm not sure if that's an antenna or something because I see a little contact here in this uh, flat flex or type material stuck on the board here and then there's the two contacts here for what I believe are the flash okay let's have a look at the top part of the phone what you see there is the camera and there's uh, the input for the sound and a couple contacts there, probably for the antenna as well. And that's it, and some kind of QR code. Okay, let's continue on the side here. See if we can pry those screws off. Okay, so this one should come off. And here. And... See, they're, they're using this... Uh, this different type of a screw now that I don't think I have any luck getting off. Um, see, I can pry this up, but they went over to this strange looking uh, triangular screw on these ones. I'm going to see if I can find another, another uh, screwdriver that might be able to get in. I have a precision screwdriver here. Now obviously I won't be able to really uh, 
use it properly, but maybe I can somehow tease it out at an angle. It's really sad and unfortunate that they did this. Nope, I'm not going to have any luck. It is just not wanting to come out. Okay, I'm going to pause the video while I go through this so I don't waste battery and uh, space. Okay, I'll be back in a minute once I try to get these out. Okay, I managed to get the screws from the top out. Okay, there were a few here, so you can see that this is starting to pry open. But unfortunately, as I'm about to find out, there are screws under this panel that says Dev Alpha, which is quite unfortunate. I don't really want to um, have to remove this because then I'll need to use double-sided tape to get under. Uh, but if you see, this peels off, and underneath this section are another two screws. So I'm going to have to peel that off to take the screws out from under here to finally be able to pry off this thing and see if I can get to the keyboard. So bear with me another few minutes as I do that. It's an awful shame that it has to come to that, but I guess because it's a developer one-off device that really was never meant to uh, be repaired, uh, it was just a prototype. It's going to have to be partially, uh, you know, mucked up a little bit. But I will get it back together, no worries, and hopefully it'll look nice as new when I'm done. So I'll be back in another few minutes once I get that off. Okay, so as you can see, I've managed to remove the tab at the base that says Dev Alpha C. It comes right off. It uh, was glued on, and uh, there were tabs in the corners. As you can see, there's one here that sticks out from each side and that one got a little bent out of shape they go under here and then it glues down and right here on two ends are two more torque screws which I'm gonna have to remove to try to get this backing off and see if we can access the board underneath so here we go we'll try that I have to find a Torx bit that fits that looks like it there so here we go yeah, anyway, a crying shame that we have to go through this extreme to open this device up. I mean, it's a prototype anyway, so who really cares? I mean, you want it to be easy to, to actually service um, or at least open up and disassemble. But, you know, why they went through this hassle of making it so tough, I don't know. So there it is with all the uh, innards exposed. Now, I don't know how this compares to the Q10. Um, but it, someone who who knows, uh, you know, the layout of a Q10 can maybe uh, compare this. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, if I can. Okay, there's the camera module there. Let me get this thing to focus. Come on. Okay, there's the camera module over here. That's a flat flex connector going off to something. I'm not sure what. Maybe to the speaker. And, uh, and the sensor here, there's a LED there, there's a whole array. So maybe that goes off to the other, to those. This is a main chip here. There's a, what looks like another connector there. Uh, again, I'm not familiar. This is the SIM card and memory over here somewhere. Um, there's some more stuff here. It looks like most of it's along here. This is the vibration motor, okay? and at the base uh, not much to it there this is all empty that's the contact for the battery so what I'm about to do is try to get into the keyboard here and uh, I'm not sure how easy this is to lift uh, I, there may be some more screws binding this down I can feel the keys kind of opening up on me here um, so I'm gonna see if I can somehow get under here uh, but it may be very difficult uh, I don't know how much further I want to go with this seeing as how it's difficult to get in I might just have to suck it up and have a you know just unusually that keyboard just not really good uh, with that O button but I'm gonna have to see what I can do because if I tear it down more and I can't put it back together uh, I don't want to end up with a useless device so 
Give me another few minutes. I'm going to see if I can get in further. Okay. So unfortunately, I was not able to get any further into this without destroying it. It looks like the keyboard is underneath here somewhere. And I have to peel back a few uh, labels that go under the battery and, and you know some stickers that are holding down the cables. Everything is going to be pretty much destructive and I don't want to lose my... Uh, my nice um, you know Q10 here or, or Dev Alpha C prototype uh, so it's not worth it for me you know the O is a little sticky but you know what can I tell you it's uh, you can see there when I type I okay an O comes up and uh, you know even when I type O whoops how do I get out of this thing um, when I type O, see I barely touch it, and it starts to work. So it's uh, it's an unfortunate issue with this keyboard, which uh, sucks. But I can't do much about it without having a, you know, having to destroy this uh, nice prototype. Now, one interesting thing to note is if you notice this huge empty space back here, and uh, I looked at the back of the case, and you can see here there's just block of plastic there's nothing in here at all so I'm not sure if the Q10 because uh, I haven't seen one up close but if Q10 has anything at the bottom like a, uh, a docking port or some kind of other device down here um, I do not see anything there and there's no contacts at all that I can tell um, unless it's the this could be a mic I mean I see a microphone maybe there somewhere a microphone and, and there's two contacts here one two which made up to uh, to this um, this contact right there okay those two made up to these two things and they probably uh, are for the microphone because when you talk you know it must record you down here uh, that's the only thing I can imagine is in this large area but I just don't see why a microphone would be so large um, that's the only active uh, sorry, the only active thing I can see in this component here. Uh, but anyways, there you have it. Uh, just a look inside of the prototype of the Dev Alpha C with a little bit of, uh, of insight into how the Q BlackBerry Q10 came into being. And uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, teardown slash uh, partial fix video. Uh, well, an attempt to fix. Unfortunately, I didn't get very far. Uh, and uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.